everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop video. So first of all, I'm terribly sorry for the recording quality. Unfortunately, I cannot use my usual microphone, so please bear with me. I hope the um, sound is good enough in any case to be understood. Now, today we're going to do something very cool. We're going to limit the number, the total number of products someone can add to the card in PrestaShop 1.6. This might work in 1.7 as well, I didn't test it, um, so if you want to do that, feel free to, and of course, it's going to work in 30Bs, the PrestaShop fork, as well. Alright, so let's get to it. What I'm going to do here is um, reach my PrestaShop folder, controllers, front, and I will open up cardcontroller.php. Now, round line uh, 243. Um, in my uh, process change product in cart method, I want to start counting the number of products in the cart. Remember, it's not just the number of different products, but also quantities. So we gotta account for that. So total cart products count is gonna be zero. We are just initializing the, um, the variable. And then inside this uh, loop that checks for products, I want to add card, uh, sorry, total card products count plus card product card quantity. This represents the um, number of products, the um, quantity for each product in the card. Alright, then um, the next um, thing down here is um, I, I think we can just leave it as it is and I will jump to after my uh, if statement and I will set uh, my maximum quantity. Uh, we can see maybe in another tut how to add um, this setting to the back office but, but uh, for now I'm gonna do it here so if tools, tools, not tools, tools, get value, and this is going to get any get or post value in PrestaShop. So OP is the operand. In this case, whenever we add a product or subtract a product from the card, um, the uh, controller is going to receive this OP variable that can be up or down. And in case uh, we have nothing I'm going to assign up as a second parameter so that we know we are getting something in any case. So if this is up and the mode is add as a, this is set somewhere around here so it can be update or add then if count card products, which is the number of products currently in the card, equals the maximum quantity, or, sorry, or if, I will go here for uh, readability, or if the total card products count plus the quantity we are adding, so this quantity, is more than the max quantity. Say if we are adding two and we have three, we cannot do that. So if this happens, then I'm going to spawn an error. So this errors, we're adding to the controller errors, equals, and we need to pass in a variable. So I'm going to use print f, and I'm going to pass in tools, display error, you cannot add more than, and I'm going to use the wildcard here, so percentage S products to the card. Okay, and then the second parameter is going to be max quantity. This second parameter is going to replace the wildcard in the um, sprint F function. 
All right, I think we are basically done. So save, and let me check. So now I check, now the maximum quantity is four. And I happen to have four products here. So let me just refresh and let it update a little. So four products again, let's see what happens if I add something else. Oops, it seems like I did something wrong. So undefined variable count. So it's line 269, let me just check. Real quick, um, so count, it must be, <laughs> it's a function, not a variable, sorry. So refresh again, things that happen. Add to card, you cannot add more than four products to the card. So what if I remove one? Okay, so let's remove this printed dress thing and add. Good, if I try to add more, nope, I can't. So yeah, that's basically it. Alright, so this is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.